Are you wondering what's the best DSLR camera for this year? If so, stay tuned, because by the end of the short video, you'll know exactly which one to choose. Hey guys, it's 7 Top Rated, and in today's video, we're going to check out the 5 best DSLR cameras on the market. This list was made based on our personal views, and are listed based on price, quality, durability, and more. To see prices and get more info about all the products shown, be sure to check out the description below. One last thing before we dive in, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell to get the latest product reviews from the channel. Okay, so let's get started with today's video. At number 5 is the Nikon D850. The D850 looks like the perfect do-it-all DSLR for professional photographers, but at its price, it could attract a large number of enthusiastic amateurs as well. Let's see why. Design-wise, it's built with a magnesium alloy frame with weather sealing for moisture and dust. The D850 feels sturdy in hand. Handling the D850 is like hopping back on a bicycle for any photographer who has shot with a Nikon DSLR before. In addition, the control layout has some buttons that can be illuminated. The top of the camera houses the familiar secondary screen that displays shooting information. And the ISO button, dedicated video record button, and exposure compensation button all sit between it and the shutter release. Moreover, the tilting touchscreen LCD makes it easy to get the shot, even from high or low angles. Use touch autofocus, touch shutter control and navigate menus, playback and more as if you were using a smartphone. Additionally, on the opposite side of the camera are ports for headphones, microphone, USB 3 and HDMI, hinting at this camera's role as a real multimedia machine. It also comes with two high-speed card slots, one for XQD cards and one for UHS-2 SD cards. As for performance, its capabilities put it in a class of its own. Its 45.7 megapixel resolution is spectacular, having the same high-tech metering and autofocus modules that are fitted to Nikon's high-end D5 and D500 DSLRs, as well as an upgraded autofocus system with 153 instead of 53 points and can capture images at 7 frames per second, or 9 frames per second with the optional MBD18 battery grip. The Nikon D850 has the lowest base ISO. It's still pretty good going from ISO 64 to 25600 in standard mode, and offering ISO 32 to 102400 in expanded mode. We also need to talk about video. The D850 shoots 4K UHD video as we all expected it would, but it uses the full sensor width to do so. This means that your local focal lengths stay the same and you no longer have to juggle with irritating crop factors. Furthermore, as well as regular 4K video, the D850 can capture and process 4K time-lapse movies in camera, or stunning 8K time-lapse movies with silent interval timer shooting though you will have to use external software to combine 8K frames into a movie. On to the battery life. The D850 uses the same EN-EL15A battery found in other high-end Nikons. But where you'd expect the D850 to be a power-hungry ogre, it's actually extremely frugal. According to Nikon, it will eke out 1,840 shots on a single charge. And that is truly impressive. To conclude, the Nikon D850 is a DSLR without sacrifices, balancing both speed and excellent image quality within the same camera. It's built with high-end users in mind, but it should be an easy choice for such photographers who wouldn't be disappointed. At number 4 is the Canon EOS 80D. Whether raising your game to SLR-level photography or having fun with a feature-rich, versatile SLR you can use pretty much everywhere, then the EOS 80D camera could be your answer. Design-wise, as well as having an excellent rubberized hand grip, the Canon EOS 80D is light at 730 grams, making it easy to hold and support when working handheld. As the camera has a weather-sealed construction, the camera feels reassuringly robust, and the battery and memory card compartments have padding to reduce or limit water ingress, which is good to see. In addition, the viewfinder displays 100% of the frame as well as camera settings. And there's also a 3-inch vari-angle LCD touchscreen found on the back of the camera, which comes in handy when shooting movie footage or working with live view. As for performance, inside the camera body, you'll find a 24.2 megapixel APS-C CMOS sensor and a 45-point autofocus system. 
so the camera can shoot at 7 frames per second with a new mirror mechanism for improved noise and image quality. Plus, the ADD has a native ISO range of ISO 100 to ISO 16000. Additionally, the Canon EOS ADD can capture Full HD 1080p movies, and both autofocus speed and autofocus tracking sensitivity can be adjusted when capturing video footage. Users can also shoot at 60p in MP4 format, and the ADD features both a microphone socket and a new headphone socket. It's worth mentioning that the Canon EOS ADD features built in Wi Fi connectivity for easy video and photo transfers as well as remote control capabilities, but adds NFC for quick and easy pairing with compatible devices. Using the EOS Remote app for iOS and Android devices, you can pair your smartphones to the ADD and quickly transfer media to their devices for social sharing. In terms of power, the ADD uses an upgraded LP-E6N rechargeable lithium-ion battery pack and should last a good 960 shots on a full charge with the optical viewfinder. Plus, features a UHS-I compatible card slot for media storage utilizing SD, SDHC, and SDXC memory cards. To conclude, with the Canon EOS ADD offering a new 24-megapixel sensor, improved image quality, and additional shooting options and controls. The Canon EOS ADD is one of the best mid-range digital SLRs Canon has ever produced, and one we would recommend. At number 3 is the Sony A7R 3 mirrorless camera. Proving that speed, resolution, and video capabilities can all coexist, the A7R 3 mirrorless digital camera from Sony is a versatile high-performance camera defined by not only its resolution but by its multimedia versatility. Designed for continued reliability, the magnesium alloy body has a pleasing feel and is a size that's great for photo shooting and even better for video, where extra weight actually helps with stability. But for a full-frame camera, it's still pretty light and tips the scale at 650 grams and measures 126.9 by 95.7 by 73.7 millimeters. The outside is very clean and minimal with only one top dial, the exposure compensation dial, which we liked and found the most useful. There are also a few custom buttons that you can program to suit your requirements. It's fast to switch between settings and modes, which can be done while looking through the OLED electronic viewfinder. Performance-wise, the Sony A7R 3 has a full-frame 42.4 megapixel Exmor R BSI CMOS sensor with the Bion's X-Image processor. The A7R 3 provides an impressive 10 frames per second, continuous shooting rate with improved autofocus performance, for quicker, more reliable subject tracking along with wide frame coverage. As for its video recording capabilities, they have also been extended for improved quality when recording UHD 4K video with the full width of the full frame sensor and when using a Super 35 area and 5K oversampling to minimize moray and aliasing, which is useful. Additionally, benefiting both stills and video use, the A7R 3 retains the 5-axis steady shot inside sensor shift image stabilization, which is now effective in reducing the appearance of camera shake by up to 5.5 stops. In addition to speed and autofocus, the processing improvements also help to realize greater image accuracy throughout the sensitivity range, from ISO 100 to 32,000 which can further be expanded to ISO 50 to 102,400. As for auxiliaries, you have a USB 3.1 Gen 1 Type-C port that has been added, in addition to a micro USB port for quicker, more reliable tethering support. The USB Type-C connection also allows the camera to be charged from the host power source while connected. We must mention the battery life. The NP-FC100 battery is able to achieve up to 530 shots per charge when using the rear LCD, and you can comfortably shoot for up to 3 hours without having to worry. To conclude, we'd like to say that while the Sony A7R 3 is built and works like a pro camera, it's small enough to enjoy as a travel and family camera. So for a full-frame mirrorless camera that has a great focus and image quality, for the price, it's totally worth it. At number 2 is the Nikon D810 full-frame camera. The Nikon D810 is a full-frame camera with a high-resolution 36-megapixel image sensor with solid build quality and lots of features that will satisfy pro photographers and serious amateurs alike. 
Design-wise, when you pick up the Nikon D810, you can feel its weight in your hands. It's hefty, weighing just under 2 pounds without a lens. And the frame measures 4.9 by 5.8 by 3.3 inches. The D810 is robustly built with a magnesium alloy chassis, dust and moisture sealing, and a shutter that's rated to 200,000 cycles. The optical viewfinder is a solid glass pentaprism that delivers 100% of the frame to your eye. Moreover, the top of the dial has buttons to adjust the white balance, image quality, the metering patterns, and the ISO. To the right of the viewfinder and pop-up flash, you'll find a monochrome information LCD with backlight, and a button to change the shooting mode, power switch, and shutter release, and a button to start recording movies. The display is 3.2 inches in size with a 4 to 3 aspect ratio, so there's plenty of room for a strip of information when using the camera in live view and shooting at the sensor's native 3 to 2 ratio. The display is exceptionally sharp, being 1229K dot resolution, ensuring it's on the same level as others in this class. As for performance, the Nikon D810 has a 36.3 megapixel FX format full frame image sensor with no optical low-pass filter, and is paired with the thrilling performance of X-Speed 4 for staggering digital retention, noise-free images from ISO 64 to ISO 12800 for fast frame rates. The shutter mechanism is redesigned, and a first curtain electronic shutter which has been added to reduce the risk of shutter shake. It also features a new raw small size option, which produces 16 megapixel images with much smaller file sizes which we liked. In addition, the D810 performs with super fast speed and precision and captures 5 frames per second at full resolution in 5 to 4 crop mode, 6 frames per second in 1 to 2 crop mode, and 7 frames per second in DX crop mode. So you can enjoy tack sharp focus, which is crucial for those high resolution images. It also has the ability to record full HD 1080 60p, which enables you to capture fast moving action then play it back at a 24p frame rate for smooth, fluid 2.5x slow motion. Plus, for the purest video quality, the Nikon D810 also allows the direct output of uncompressed files to an external recorder, which is a handy feature. Overall, when it comes down to it, the Nikon D810 camera would be an excellent choice for professional and enthusiast photographers alike, and is one great camera that's worth trading in your older gear or breaking into that rainy day fun for as it's simply that good. At number one is the Canon EOS Rebel T6i. Rebel cameras represent the entry point into Canon's EOS SLR family, and this T6 one is the best performing Rebel camera yet. Let's check it out. Design-wise, the build is solid and the ergonomics well thought through. It measures four by 5.2 by 3.1 inches and weighs 1.2 pounds without a lens. Even the controls are built for speed. The T6i's mode select dial is easy to reach and manipulate, so you won't lose any time fumbling for the right mode. If you're used to using a smartphone, you can react even more quickly using the T6i's intuitive touchscreen controls, including pinch to zoom. As part of the package, Canon also included their ultra quiet, fast focusing 18 to 55 mm image stabilizing zoom lens with this kit, or you can just buy the body only. Moving on, the 3.0 inch Clearview 2 Vari Angle Touchscreen LCD Monitor with 1040K dot resolution gives a clear composition and playback viewing even in bright light conditions. Its tilt and swivel capability makes using at strange angles easy, which is handy to have. Now let's look at the performance. At the core of the Canon T6i is the 24.2 megapixel APS C CMOS sensor which when you're shooting action, you'll appreciate the difference the Digic 6 image processor makes. The T6i fires off continuous 24 megapixel still shots at five frames per second. In addition, enjoy crisp clean images over a broad spectrum of lighting conditions, possibly due to native sensitivity of ISO 100 to 12,800, which will reduce the use of flash in low light situations, even capturing great shots early morning or evening. Furthermore, with high-speed continuous shooting, you will not miss a shot during fast action, and this is supported by the use of a 19-point all-cross-type autofocus system. We like to say that we found the overall operation very responsive. There is virtually no lag, the menus are rapid-fire, and the shutter near-instant. 
Additionally, the Rebel T6i shoots HD video up to 1920x1080 resolution up to 60p in HD for smooth and eye-catching results in MP4 format. It also supports Movie Servo for continuous focus tracking of moving objects during recording. Finally, stills can be recorded during video shooting simply by pressing the camera shutter button. We must mention that you can wirelessly transfer images and videos with the built-in Wi-Fi connectivity of the T6i. And when used with the Camera Connect mobile app, you will be able to quickly and effectively upload files directly to social networking sites. Overall, if you're on a budget, the Canon EOS Rebel T6i is an attractive option. It remains a reliable option for people looking for a functional camera capable of handling pet photography, kid soccer games, and vacation snapshots, and comes highly recommended. Thanks for watching the video. We hope you found it useful. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this in the future. If you do have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and we'll get back to you. Catch you soon.